Hey everyone, and welcome to the second episode of A Little Bit of This. A Little Bit of That. We are I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, and again, I'm Sean. I'm Jess. And welcome. Welcome back. So, cheers to our second round of episodes. And right? the new year. And the new year. Clink! Woo! Woo! We'll have to tell them what we're drinking. Oh, burn my lip. So clearly it's not wine, unless he likes his wine hot. <laughs> <laughs> nope, go ahead. You tell him what you've got. Well, first off, I don't drink wine. I, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I drink enough for the book. I drink wine coolers. Oh, that's but true. Yeah. Good. But I'm drinking hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would drink be drinking some coffee right now, but the creamer I have, uh, last few times I used it, it just didn't taste good. It didn't sit right with you it really didn't but everyone else was like no it's fine i'm just like no it tastes it's like not, don't call me a liar it tastes like something else i don't know but it <laughs> tastes good well he's got his hot chocolate i'm over here rocking coffee because if you know me which i forgot to mention i'm addicted to coffee hi my name is jess and i'm addicted to coffee all kinds cold hot whatever um however i am now obsessed with coffee bombs which i get from Damsels in desserts. Damsels in desserts. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I'm too far from the mic. I'm just trying to like not be on the top Slouched of the over. Yeah, my back is hurting a little. Is this better? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Um. Anyway, they're called Damsels in Desserts. They are on Facebook. They are just starting out. They're an amazing company. I do happen to know one of the owners, and she's fabulous. But hey. y'all. Hey, I'm trying hazelnut tonight, and it's so good. We tried caramel, salted yeah, caramel, car yeah, yes. Salted and caramel. so far, I think that's my favorite. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try mocha. When are you gonna try peppermint? I don't know yet. I'm trying to save it. Till Please be coming. there when I'm there. Please save peppermint for when I'm there. Okay, I'll do my best. I promise. I did order a second, though. but anyways, y'all check them out on Facebook. Damsels and desserts, so cute. Love the name. The coffee is addicting and so good. And we did ask permission mm -hmm. to mention them today. So. Definitely got consent. So I would like to start. Did I fix Sorry. it up? It's okay. Sean likes to touch things. So you might hear. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm hearing something rattling and I look down and he's touching the mic. I'm like, you're touching the mic. All right. So we're going to start this episode off with pulling a card from my, my deck, my Oracle deck called Light as a Feather. I'm going to pull one and Sean's going to pull one and we're going to kind of see what the year holds for us. Hopefully this will resonate with some of you guys too. Um, if you know anything about me, I'm really into Oracle cards. I have a whole like altar and all the crystals and all the things and all the stuff. <laughs> it's really enjoying this. Which culture. reminds me, I have to make seven protection jars. Yes. Mine <laughs> took something that night. That was creepy. That was, yeah, very. Why is a card not jumping out? Come on. Come on. I guess I got to get a little bit aggressive. Uh-oh. My daughter's calling me. All right, hold on. All right. I'm going to go with this one. It says, stop sleeping on your gifts. All right. Y'all hear me. If you have a dream, chase it. Don't question what the world's going to think. Fuck them all. Do you. You were given some kind of gift or talent. I wish y'all could see this card. I'm putting it at the mic like you can see it. But literally, it says, stop sleeping on your gifts. I would like to point out how funny that is, considering today I put in two applications for a chef job. Yes, you did. And, you know, this last year, I put out music. I did modeling against all odds. Yeah. Um, people are going to hate no matter what you're doing. People are going to love no matter what you're doing. So, honestly, all that matters is that you're doing what makes you happy and you're not hurting anyone and you are passionate about something fucking chase it go yeah. do the damn thing all right sean is <laughs> i'm not good at shuffling. And shuffling let's see i'm not good at shuffling okay i got jokes <laughs> <laughs> i would like to say well i'm trying to attempt this yes. uh can we talk a little bit about the whole protection jar situation yes that happened absolutely so sean creates these protection jars like that literally remove any toxic energy in your homes or anything that's kind of trying to cling itself to you as some kind of negative energy or negative existence or anything you're holding on to, it kind of helps you let go of. Well, we were doing a, um, what do we call that? It wasn't really a seance. It wasn't a seance. 
else. It was, we had one of those, um, oh my gosh, the equipment where you can talk to the other side. Yeah. And we were talking to our loved ones um, and something came through. And or at least tried to. <laughs> or tried to, but we were protected from it. It was clearly not the most uh, kind spirit. Um, and I will say one thing, too, about this. Since that night, I haven't had any bad dreams, have I? Not that I know of. The only, the thing, only one I had was before then. There was one thing you said. It wasn't really a bad dream. It was just really weird. And it had to do that thing with Jelly Roll and Bunny. Oh, and I dreamed about them again last night. Again? Maybe they're supposed to be in my future. Jelly Roll, Bunny, I'm coming for you. But it was a good dream. It was like we were all just chilling and hanging out. It wasn't anything weird. Um, but anyway. No, I meant the other weird dream. Yeah, that one was fucked up. Um, I don't remember everything about that. But literally. It involved my, a cult is all I remember. Yes, it did. My friend was holding, or not holding, but she picked it up, right? She picked up the protection jar and then the wax just like started falling off or it had fallen off. It didn't start falling off and breaking until she touched it. Mm. So, a sign that it's not working anymore is if there's mold. If, if there's mold on it, dead flies around it or on it, mm-hmm. and if the wax just starts falling off, it starts breaking. And I've yeah. had that for how long? For Since a very long August, time. I believe. September or August. I feel like it was even before then. It might have been. I, I just can't remember. It's just been sitting near the TV. And you've also sent one to, actually, one of the girls that is over the damsels and desserts. You really? sent it to her, yeah. Hers is still live and kicking, still going and protecting, so that's really cool. Um, but anyways, regardless, he makes those. They're incredible. I'm trying to get him to sell them because, honestly, you know what, Sean? Stop sleeping on your gifts, okay? Sell those shit because, honestly, I can't wait to get that one back, a new one back in this house. And what happens when they do, like, not work? What do you have to do with them? Well, there are different ways, apparently, you can like deal with it some people say you have to like smash it near a river okay but uh, some other people say you can actually reuse the jar you just have to cleanse it we'll go smash it in the river and record it that'd be awesome we live right next to a river like we might as well just do that anyway sean pull a card i see the truth when i look into the mirror oh fuck (laughs) what does that mean okay so this is my perception of that when you're going into this new year you know who you truly are. You know, you finally accept you and you see it in the mirror and you're just trying to figure out like, how can I word this? How to get the world to accept you, but it really doesn't even matter. Like, don't worry about what they think because you know you, you see it in the mirror. Like you're comfortable finally in your own skin and it took you a while to get there. But now when you look in the mirror, how excited are you about your outfits? How excited are you about like showing off your style and like, True. And talking about L- the LGBT community, like, you just know who you are. And I think that if this resonates with y'all, too, look, you see the truth about yourself when you look in the mirror. You know who you are. Don't let this world corrupt you, because they will. God. You don't have to be the typical normal, quote-unquote, normal person. Yeah. Everybody's their own individual. Look in the mirror. Find out who you are. Chase your dreams. These were great cards. I'm going to take a picture of these and upload them to our Facebook page. Like, this was a... I feel like I want to do this Wait, 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 wait. Before you do another one, and before you take a picture, I'm yeah. going to do another one. Okay. For the podcast itself. If, okay. If that makes sense. Kind of, like, see where it's going to head? I guess you can say that. Should I pull one, too, or just you? I'll do it. You just do it. Yeah. Considering we're already about nine minutes in. Holy crap! <laughs> Y'all, if you're still here, thank you. <laughs> and if not, <laughs> you suck. You lost out. I was about to say something else, but sure. <laughs> mm. Hazelnut's truly kicking in. You will notice something about us. Either we're eating or we're drinking. We're foodies. Yeah. And we, we have to, like, be touching and doing things. Yeah. Both of us. You touch the mic. <laughs> I'm, like, over here, like, doing all this. I always touch my hair. Okay, what'd you get? <laughs> is it bad or good? Spirit's magic is popping your cherry. Oh! <gasps> Dude, that is so perfect. We are popping the cherry of a new podcast. That is so funny. I'm glad you were, uh, that you felt you needed to pull a third one for the podcast. In other words, this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're popping that cherry, mother. Sorry, Sean, please don't die. I'm good. I'm good. 
All right, so let's get her done. Um, so I just took a picture of all three of those. So just a reminder, stop sleeping on your gifts. You see the truth when you look into the mirror. <laughs> and for our podcast's future, spirits, magic is popping their cherry. Popping your cherry. Popping my cherry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, that was, never mind. I do have kids. Um, okay, so. <laughs> moving wrong. What do you want to talk about first? Do you want to talk about New Year's? Do you want to talk about New York? I'm not pretty sure, but all I can say is I'm glad I put down the explicit explicit tag for this podcast now. I'm glad, too, because we say lots of stuff. And we don't have filters. Well, we do, but we don't. <laughs> if we're drunk, we don't. Have a well, when you're drunk. Shut up. I just get tipsy. Can y'all smell that? That's <laughs> bullshit. I do get tipsy. He does. The whole world spins. <laughs> Look, I'm just kidding. You're the one. Who told me to go and check the mail right after chugging something. Oh, yeah. My bad on that, bro. Exactly. Especially on a busy road. Yep. Anyways, I think I want to talk about New York. Personally. That was a big gulp. <laughs> that was so loud. Is it? <laughs> so, we just got back from New York, what, a week ago? A week and a half ago? Yeah. And, wow. What a trip. It was great. Mackenzie, my daughter, um... If you are just catching this podcast and didn't hear the first one. She's eight. She's my kiddo. Jess is kiddo. Let me be specific on this. Um, she's always wanted to see the Statue of Liberty. So we went and saw that. We went and saw the Rockefeller Center, Times Square, the big tree. Went to the big toy store called FAO Shorts or something like that. She got these really expensive ponies that were ridiculously expensive. But she worked for it. She sold ornaments to go. And, um, Yeah. What else did we do? Oh, um, excuse me. We had pizza, of course. And the bagels. Oh my god, the bagels. I think Sean's favorite part was what? The pigeons. The pigeons, of course. There's one other thing, but I can't remember. The train. Mm hmm. So, on the train, there was this one guy. I don't know his name, I don't know anything about him. He got onto the train at Secaucus, I believe. Say that three times without laughing. Secaucus, Secaucus, Secaucus. Well, either way, we got onto, we got on the train at Penn Station in New Jersey, and was gonna ride all the way to the Penn Station in New York. Well, between uh, right when we get on into the New York stop, we have to stop in at one place, which is Secaucus. Well, this guy gets on with some of these other people. And, like, right when I see him, I'm like, boom, book idea. The dude looked like he belonged in a movie mm -hmm. or a book. But, like, not like, oh, he was over extravagant or something like that. It was just, like, your average guy, but, like, rom-com dude. Yeah. He was awesome. That He looked, looked mad, though. But <laughs> he did look like he hated life. But he still was pretty to look at. Um... Yeah, so that happened, and then, oh my gosh, remember when we, oh, we went to the library, which was unbelievably beautiful, but I definitely met a New Yorker there, um, the stereotypical New Yorker. Yeah, the mean specific, stereotypical. The mean Jersey or New York or whatever. By the way, that was the only actually mean mm -hmm. person we saw, except, like, one other person who gave my aunt a dirty look. Yeah, well, I get those a lot. Um. Sorry, my daughter is standing here. Okay. Um, Sean. The charger's in there. So, Sean's going to step away for just a second and get oh. the charger for my daughter's iPad. And I'll keep talking because I'm good at that. So, um, we basically decided to uh, go from going on Ubers all the time to the trains. And that's what he was talking about. The trains were really fun. But... Interesting. You know, you definitely meet interesting people wherever you go in this world, but um, there's something to say about New York. Like, you just never know what you're going to get. Um, but the guy that was so mean to me, <laughs> so there was a revolving door that you go through, and um, I was trying to navigate where our next, like, because we did a lot of walking, obviously. In New York, you always walk. But I was navigating on my phone. I was trying to pull up the phone and go through the uh, revolving door. And my daughter had a backpack on, and it got caught up in the, the door. And so the guy goes, watch your kids, not your phone. <laughs> I 
I know, Ari. He was so mean. That's our husky. By the way, <laughs> um, in the revolving door, nope. you can't look back. So there was literally nothing she could do <laughs> except look forward or look down. And I'm telling you, like... That was, I mean, considering everywhere we went and everything we did, to only have that one person, like, um, it was pretty amazing. Um, and, you know, of course, the Statue of Liberty was gorgeous, but... Eric was fun. Eric was so fun. If you guys ever get a chance to go, um, yes, you have got to ride Eric's boat. He was incredible. Um, anyway, so... I'm trying to think what else was like one of the highlights. Oh, Times Square. So my daughter and I were in Times Square. We were on the billboard um, talking about our song Christmas Wishes, which came out while we were there. It came out uh, Christmas Day. So um, that was fun. That was exciting. The bagels were on point. I could have eaten a bagel for every meal. Um, I almost blew up a toaster. You did. (laughs) That would be our other dog. And that, she is a Shih Tzu Maltese mix. Yeah. She's louder than the husky. Um, but we had to literally do, like, surgery on the toaster at the place that we stayed at. We. Um, yeah, I tried, and then Sean finished the job. Because <laughs> he, he, he's much better at things like that than me. But what would you say was, like, the high louder than the pigeons? The fa- your favorite part. Ooh, uh. Ooh, I'm trying to think, honestly. I mean, I really love the pigeons. I know. The pigeons are fun. I, I was like, Sean, watch this. So I had a piece of pretzel, which the pretzel was not that great this time. And I threw it, and then he was like, ha, oh, they didn't show up. And then not even after he's finishing, like, seven come, and then, like, ten more come. And I was like, ah. And he goes, let me throw one. So he throws one, and then there's, like, 25. And I'm like, oh, God, we're turning into the bird lady. <laughs> oh, I know what my favorite was. Mm-hmm. I know what my favorite was. The castle. Um... My favorite part was, can you order? Yeah. My favorite part was, again, the Oh, pit. no. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. My dog scratched me. Okay. And I'm sorry for the annoying laugh I just did. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite parts would have to be the pigeons. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, the pigeons, the trains, the subway. Yes. And... Both the strawberry fields oh, yeah, with cool. the John Lynn Memorial mm-hmm. and also, uh, dang it, the tower. Yeah. Later. It has two different names, Belvedere Tower and Belvedere Castle. Yeah, okay. I really like Gothic architecture and mm-hmm. that was one of the places that I really wanted to see. Central Park in itself was amazing. Yeah. Um, girl, you better back off my coffee. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, so that's kind of a recap on New York. It was the first time flying for Sean and Kenzie. They had a great time, and I'm just so ready to travel more. Like, every time I get on a plane, it just gives me that itch. I'm like, okay, got to go see something else. So next year, like I said in the last one, is going to definitely be Colorado and Hawaii. And, of course, Mackenzie and I always go to the beach. My aunt has a condo, so we go to the beach once a year. God, I sound like a spoiled brat. But I work hard for the money. I do. How many jobs do I have? 512? Yeah. <laughs> so, I really do. I work a lot of jobs, and I feel like we we deserve to go on trips. Everybody deserves to go on trips. No matter how hard you work, you should see the world. But with your jobs, we can... Oh, is she okay? We'll find out soon. <laughs> you shouldn't she was sneezing. Oh. Uh, well, um, with the jobs, we'll actually get that more into that. Why is she on the table? <laughs> <laughs> she is my dog. She's stripping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But with a job ish. <laughs> <laughs> I just love you. Okay, I need yeah. to finish my sentence. Sorry, let's do this. With the jobs that we'll actually get more into that in later in this episode. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. Just your Yeah, I'm gonna okay. put it on the counter. Anyways. So yes, we'll talk more about jobs. Um all right, so that's kind of like the New York recap. I do love New York. Um, I'll probably go there many more times in my life. Hold on, Sean's running back. This one couple actually thought I was a New Yorker. Yeah, they did. It was weird, and the only reason why I'm guessing they thought that was considering I was acting like I knew where I was going. <laughs> You're Well, you pretty much navigated the whole time. You had my phone the entire time. I had it like once. 
Yeah, but I wasn't even looking at the phone. I was just like, okay, so we're gonna have to get on the. That's true. We gotta get on the D train, have... go into we have to get... Second Street, and get off at the tree and turn left at the fountain. I mean, it was like he knew everything. Was I was like, okay, we're gonna have to get on this train <laughs> and go down all the way to, I wanna say 82nd Street. Yeah. But it was the sixth stop. On the so subway. We were counting it down. Yeah. But this couple came by and was like, hey, do you know how to get to this place? <laughs> I'm like, no, sorry. There was like, oh, sorry. We thought you, uh. We thought you. We thought you, you knew your way around here. <laughs> Not at all. But we we can fake it till we make it. Okay. Exactly. Um, but yeah, if you've never been to New York City, definitely go. It should be on your bucket list. It's amazing. It's what, I mean, I don't know. Uh, for me, I would go back again anytime. I mean, there's so much to see. I feel like. I never, we, you didn't get to see the Empire State Building, which I wanted to show you. No, I didn't. We'll have to go back. Well, I have to go back in February or March anyways to record some more vinyl. We'll talk about that later. Um, okay. So, what about this new year coming up, 2024? I'm so ready to leave 2023 in the past and all the toxic people, toxic energy, toxic everything. Leave it in the past. What about you? Are you ready for this new year? I'm actually terrified of this new year. No, why are you afraid? Well, look at it this way. Every single year since 2020, it just seems like the years are getting worse. Mm. Let's not think about it like that. Think like, oh my god, this is going to be the best year of my life. Well, think about what happened this year for you that, towards the end. You met you an amazing person, great guy. Technically, I met him... <laughs> Sorry. The dog is no longer table dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I met him in sixth grade. Well, that's true. I guess I just meant towards the end of the year, you got an amazing person in your life. Yeah. And maybe that's a preview of how 2024 is going to be for you. It's going to be great. You're going to get you an amazing chef job, and you're going to just keep going up that ladder. And y'all, this man's going to be huge. I'll be like, damn it. Now i got to share don't do it. I got him a chef apron for Christmas that says Chef Sean's Kitchen, and it's so cute. And he yeah. wore it well, and Phoenix just stole it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, what are your, like, resolutions? What do you want to... What, what what's something, at least one or two things that you want to do next year? Stay out of the drama. Amen to that. Everybody leave Sean out of the drama. Yeah, I mean, people are putting me into drama that doesn't even involve me. Or exist. It's created drama. It's so stupid. Um, but yeah. And when I make a post about it, someone's just always like, oh, it's about me. And I'm like, no, it's no. multiple, multiple yeah. people. Only certain people I allow it to happen, mm -hmm. considering I actually, I care about them a lot and I actually worry about what's going on. Yeah. But then there's some people who I don't even talk to who's mm -hmm. trying to drag me into drama. You're like, who are you? What do you want from me? Exactly. Um, but yeah, that's a huge one. Like I said, toxic. Leave everything in the past. Like, I did a meditation last night with my friend Allie and one, it was talking about like, you're walking out of a house and you have like, one hand, of, one hand has got balloons of like, Things that make you happy, things that are good, things that you love, and it's really light. And then you have, an, in your other hand, you've got, it's almost like a suitcase. It's a really heavy set of balloons. And she walked me through it, and you go down to a river, and you let this, like, all the negative, toxic shit down the river. Yeah. And when I was done, I was like, oh my god, I feel like I was floating. It's weird. But, like, do something like that for yourself. Do a meditation and leave it in the past. Like that reminds me of the group we started on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I found the nut. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, still talking about the coffee there. Yes, we are talking about the coffee. <laughs> so we started a group on Facebook, and when spring comes around, we're actually going to be like going out in public and doing it. Mm -hmm. It's called Chatta Yoga. We'll be walking on mm -hmm. this bridge downtown and be doing yoga in the park. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait. If you guys are local, please join us. Yeah. And if you're not, we're eventually going to stream it, right? Yeah. Where also, it's it. free. Yeah, it's free. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the dog has decided to uh, hit the floor, running almost, if I don't hold her down. All right, so as you can see, 
our life's a little crazy. But anyway, so those are some good ones. Do you have any more, like, for moving forward? I know you want to do the chatta yoga, leave the drama in the past, stay out of people's shit. Don't I, involve you and shit. Yeah, I want to do a whole lot more. I want to do more movies and shows. Yeah. Uh, I want to do more of this podcast. Yeah, absolutely. I want to do a lot more writing, both the music and the books that I never finish. Yeah, I know, but we will. I'll help you however I can. You helped me write mine. I can step up and help you. And I want to also make uh, my own short films. You'd be great at that. Yeah. That's a great list. Now write that down, say it three times a day, and make that shit happen. Yeah. That's my, that's what I'm going to do. That's my uh, advice to everybody. This dog, y'all, I can't. Um, excuse me. As for me, Jess, I have a lot of, you know, goals and ambitions for next year. Um, I am writing a second book. Um, it's going to be about my story of, uh, living through surviving domestic violence and how I, you know, got through that. Um, and also put out my debut album, which I've already talked about. Um, my daughter Mackenzie is writing her first book and I'm going to help her get that out into the world, and so it's going to be called I Got You Boo. It's going to be about a little girl who loses her father um, and how she is surviving that and how she still feels him with her and all the things. So look out for that. Um, definitely going to finish, you know, building this podcast. This is so fun. I love this outlet. Um, more music to come, of course, songwriting. I'm going to be co-writing with a few other artists that I'm super excited about that I just found out today, actually. I haven't even told you, Sean. I'll tell you later. It's you a big tell deal. I stuff. will. I know. I'm sorry. But it's somebody that I've really admired for a while, and he actually is on one of my tracks, and I'm going to be letting out. Letting out? What the fuck does that even Releasing? mean? Releasing? Um, Releasing next year. Um, so next year is going to be a very interesting uh, she might shift. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Next year's going to be a very interesting shift for my music. Um, it's, I'm going to call it my midlife crisis phase. Uh, no, it's your revenge era. revenge era. Um, some of the I music. Know, like... Yes, Sean's, Sean's definitely, definitely involved in this. A lot of this is going to be like, I think Avril Lavigne style. Um, but I've also got some country songs I'm putting out too. So it's kind of like a variety pack, if you will, that y'all are going to get that... I didn't get to finish this year because this year went by so fast and, you know, going through the healing process, you get so sidetracked, but I will say I've been pretty proud of myself. I put out six songs since Jack's passed, um, and that was a huge accomplishment. So next year, I don't even know y'all how many songs I'm going to get out. There's going to be a lot and, um, definitely go back into the movie scene. Um, I am signing paperwork January 3rd in Knoxville for, um, the gauge talent. I know it's, I'm already with them, but now it's like, I get to go and pick the photos and you can come with me if you want. Yes. Um, security detail. I got my security with me. Um, and Mackenzie is signed with them as well. And so now they're going to be, you know, submitting us to a lot more movies, a lot more things, not just background, but now I'll probably get more like lead roles. And so that's Ooh. really exciting. I know. Um, I definitely want to keep nannying my little precious babies that I miss so much. Oh, I forgot to mention that I am a nanny, too. I love the little kiddos. Just not my own. No, I'm kidding. I love mine, but she drives me crazy. It's because we're so much alike. She's definitely my mini-me. I'm pretty sure every single oh. parent oh, yeah. is driven crazy at least once or twice. A day. Yeah. A minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think moving in this new year, I want to definitely work on my health a lot more. Um, I actually signed up to do this 80 day reset, which is like exercise. Um, and I'm going to go back to not eating dairy because it inflames my whole body, blah, blah, blah. So. AKA she isn't going to eat dairy until I make cheesy croissant rolls. Don't judge me. You could stuff them with vegan cheese. <laughs> Almost joked again. Anyway, I guess, yeah, moving forward, I have a lot of goals and visions just like I did this year, but this time it's going to be a little shifted. My mindset is not going to be so much about proving myself to other people or 
fighting for my character because I know I'm a good person. And it's not going to be like, oh, my God, I want these people to love me. Either you love me or you don't. And that's the mindset I have. Like, I'm not for everybody. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. See? Cussing. <laughs> now that I know I can, I'm gonna. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's kind of like 2024 is going to be about me and my daughter and doing what's best for us, continuing to. Oh, one thing I want to talk about, which people like don't really talk about, is therapy. Therapy has been so huge for us. Um, she and I see a counselor separate, but we started family therapy this week. And that's something I definitely want to focus a lot more on next year is getting in tune with her because I still have my dad. I haven't lost a parent, so I don't know and can't relate 100% to her emotions. So, And she can't relate to mine because she's never been in love. Well, she says she has a boyfriend or 12, but, you know. Not to mention she's trying to steal mine. <laughs> can't blame her. He's pretty cute. Phoenix, you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't come from me. Came from Kenzie. But anyways, yeah. So let us know, y'all. Let us know some of your ideas and resolutions that you want to, like, do moving forward. Oh, at midnight, make sure you leave your front door open on, oh, wait, this is good. they're going to hear this later. Yeah, but they're still, hear this later. this is what we're going to do. Um, at 11.59, we're going to open our front door, and we are going to let out all the old, all the negative. It's going to be like, God, oh, I hope we can get a little thing by then. Let's go get one tomorrow, a little jar. Because I need a new protection, so do you. Yeah. Um. Anyways, that's enough about me. But that's, yeah, I feel like moving forward, toxic shit is not going to surround me anymore. I'm speaking that into existence. No matter what anybody says or does, they're going to leave Sean out of it. They're going to leave me out of it. And if they want to keep talking about me, that's fine. Either way, I mean, you're still, you know, still talking about me. <laughs> Whether you love me or you hate me, I'm still the center of attention. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got to say about that. But don't fuck with my kid. Yeah, definitely don't. No. When it comes to her and somebody threatening my daughter... Let's just say a restraining order is around the corner for that person. Yep. Which reminds me, we have actually have to do that within the next two days. We're going to go on Tuesday. All right. Because I'm off. Yeah. All right. Anyways. Whew, so I know. That felt great to get out. I will like to say, uh, I heard you mention how your new era of music is going to be like Avril Lavigne-ish. Mm -hmm. But also with a mix of Taylor Swift, because there's country too. Well, she has her revenge stuff. She definitely stuff. does. She has her So, revenge. if anything, you'll be Taylor Swift, Avril Lavigne, Paramour. Dude! Type revenge era. That's me right there. That's what's happening. And then you just have me with my music being like, oh, Taylor Swift. The Cure? The Cure, Green Day, and a little bit of My Chemical Romance thrown in. Would you happen to say a little bit of this? A little bit of that. <laughs> See? We're insane. I love it. Wait, one, there's one song that you're actually supposed to be doing with me. Charred and, or Smoked and Charred? Charred, Charred and, and Smoked. smoked. That's yeah. your song that Sorry. I'm doing with you. Yes. I'm talking about my song you're doing with me, mm -hmm. uh, Melancholy Dream. Yes, I cannot wait for that one. Oh, a lot of wigs are involved. Yeah. <laughs> see, what had happened was... When she got I, drunk. Uh, uh, oops. And you see, when I drink, it doesn't take but two drinks and I'm out. Like... I don't drink often, but when I do, I like to shop on Amazon. And for some reason, every time I get on there, a wig shows up four days later. It's like I'm trying to have color, <laughs> like I want colored hair, but I don't want to do it like permanently because I, like, I don't know with work or whatever, movies, you know, yeah. like I got to be plain Jane. I haven't had my nails done in eight months because they say it has to be bare and plain, like whatever. Plus it's so much money. It's so much money and it's not a good investment. I will say pedicures are an amazing investment because people rub my feet and I feel like a queen. But anyway, um, I know, diva. But I order wigs when I'm drunk. <laughs> that that's my uh that's my downfall in my coffee addiction. But it's gonna be cute. And Kenzie looked so cute in that pink one. She really did. She she worked it better than any of us. Well, only you two tried it on. So. Hmm. The only wig I tried on that you bought was the black and pink one. I got a black and pink one, too. Yeah, that was the one I wore to emo night. I forgot about her. That was the first time I learned that when you're drunk, you buy stuff. <laughs> so I would have four wigs? Yeah. I've got a gray and black one, pink one, pink and black. Yeah. Do you have another one? The rainbow one? Or did you return <gasps> yes, that? No, I kept it. I have four wigs, y'all. And I haven't worn a single one yet. And I got more than that. You just wait. And, yeah, you do. 
This one, is going to be fun. One is falling apart, though, because we need so cheap. We need to sew it or something. Or get you a new one. Yeah. Like, I know how to sew. Are they fighting behind us? No. Ari's playing with her stuffed toy. Okay. Our dogs like to... Well, the husky didn't realize how big she is, and she likes to trample the little one. It's kind of funny. And the little one likes to... Claw her, her eyes out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like... Anyway... So, share your resolutions with us. We'd love to hear them. Because, I mean, everybody has something different, you know? I actually got a few that people have commented mm -hmm. on certain things that I post about it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like Candace's sister, Courtney, also made a comment about one on Facebook. Ooh. I can't remember, though. Well, go read some of those. That's awesome. I okay. love that. Okay, so uh, one says theirs is not to let things pass by unnoticed. Okay. Another says would be a better for Fortnite player. Ooh. Another person says just to be a better version of themselves that they can just be proud of. They're they're doing that by making a dragon sona, which is like a uh, persona and stuff like that. Yeah. Of themselves and creating. Her while they're growing as a person and blossoming into a fully fledged adult dragon. Okay, that's cool. That's yeah. really cool. Uh, there were some others. Let me see if I can find them. I'm gonna look up your uh, Facebook and see what people have said. I haven't posted on Facebook. Oh, just kidding. It was, was it Instagram. Only two people on Instagram, and that was you and Phoenix that said anything. Okay. But it was on a post either we shared under it. The podcast, or you shared for the podcast. Okay, I don't remember. I haven't. I don't know. I've slept since then. So. <laughs> we all have. Ish. Uh, so you said on Instagram, yeah, write another book, put mm -hmm. our podcast out, and release your debut album. Yes. And Phoenix said, "Be a better boyfriend." I freaking love that. He's so precious. Yeah. And then you got Reddit. Okay, so this one's not going to be always good. Uh, I'm going to read the not good ones. Oh, I'm not going to read those, yeah. considering I'm just like... Uh, it's people's, like, really bad something. It's really through. bad, and also, considering it's Reddit, you don't know if they're trolling or not. That's true. So They could be, yeah, exactly. I'll read the one good comment out of the three. Okay. Get back in touch with their friends. Being a kindergarten teacher has taken so much time away from fun that they lost touch of many people. They don't want to live this year out the way, that way again. That's good. And Hopefully. let me check TikTok. Oh, another Sorry. thing I was thinking about is like. No on TikTok. Not on TikTok. Okay. No. Like just don't try to impress people and accept who you are for yourself. Because I spent a lot of my life trying to fit in where I didn't belong. Um, I'll see if I can find Courtney's. Comment. Yeah. And I don't know. I feel like. Others do that, too. Like, you want to be friends or family with someone so much that you'll just, like, put on a mask of who you truly are and won't come out to the world as far as, like, hey, no, this doesn't vibe with me, but you'll just chill with them because, you you know, it's been a friendship or something that's been your whole life. And sometimes those toxic people just need to be let go of when they just drag you down and make up rumors and don't believe you or love you. Anyways, enough on that. But that's kind of what I did, or am doing. I'm just letting it all go. Because there's parts of your life. People come into your life for certain seasons, and sometimes they say, like some of my amazing friends that have been here since day one. And then there's some that teach you a lot, and you learn a lot, and you grow from it, and you know what to be like and to not be like. Here it is. Okay. I was rambling while you were So finding. Courtney said, New Year's resolution, bettering myself and finding myself for my babies. I love that. I love that. I feel like every mother or father, that should be their, you know, first purpose is their kids. Always. Um, and then their dogs. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> kids first, always. But unless they don't have kids and all they have are their dogs. Yeah. They, dogs are kids. Fur babies. They're fur babies. I had Lola Pug forever. Yeah. 14 years. She died three, three years. Three months after Jack did. And I think, honestly, hers, I mean, yes, yeah, she had cancer, but I also think it was, like, broken heart. She missed her daddy. But, um, yeah, so I think, what, that wraps it up on New Year's resolutions, getting rid of toxic shit, New York City. This episode is going to be so short unless we find more things to talk about. Was that everything we had kind of decided to talk about? How this past year been? 
And what kind of to expect for next year, too. Yeah. We've kind of talked about that. La- you know, this last year has been, God, a roller coaster, to say the least, of emotions. <sighs> and next year, we are not going to allow that energy in this home. By the way, Sean and I do live together. Um, so, yeah, obviously, you figure that out. Stop that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I had to tell him to stop that. I'm um, playing with the mic again. Go, <laughs> go, go play with that cup or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, whatever was in your past in this past year that did not uplift your spirits or help you with your drive or passions or focus on what makes you thrive, leave them there. Put them down the river. Sean, focus. (laughs) He has a pencil on his nose. This is what happens when we drink coffee and hot chocolate. We act like we don't know what we're doing in life. Do we, though? Anyway. um, Other than the drama, what are you leaving in 2023? The drama, the toxic stuff, uh, I don't really know, but I need some closure about certain things. So. I was about to say you might leave that in 2023. Yeah. Try to, at least. Yeah, I tried. It is hard. Closure is one of those really, really fucked up things. Because sometimes the closure is just closed. And sometimes it's not. Like, it's, I don't know, it's really hard. Like, the shit that happened with me, with, you know, you know. I just had to accept it for what it was and realize that I just have to put a restraining order on that person. Yeah. Like, I don't need to reach out and give them more fuel to the fire that's not even there. It's just the most crazy, absurd stuff that was said that I did. And I'm like, dang, I must think I'm really smart. I would like to point out again, though. Oh, my God. The time frame she claims you did that stuff, I had your phone. I know. And we you were didn't, in, we were in New York City. You think I had time to go do something like that? And you also didn't have a computer, so you couldn't do it that way. You only could do it through your phone, and I had your phone. <laughs> you feel like me going, hang on a minute, I'm at Times Square. Let me pull up my laptop and do this real quick. <laughs> like, come the fuck on. <laughs> all I have to say is don't believe everything you hear, guys. People will go to all kind of extremes, especially if they have an addiction. They lose their minds, and they don't even realize what they're doing, and they believe their own stories. Um, whew. I found out some really interesting things that I didn't even know I could do. Yeah. I'm pretty smart. You? Yeah. I'm going to jail. Yeah. Not really, guys. It was all just... Anyways. But basically, rumors will start about you. People will hate you if you're doing good in life. People will love you if you're doing good in life. You just have to pick your circle, pick your tribe. Let go of the ones that don't want to see you thrive. <laughs> yeah. See what I did there? And sometimes people just leave without yep. saying anything. And you, you know, you want to blame yourself. But then if you really look at it, it's not even you. Yeah. Unless you're a piece of shit. Yeah. And you're not a piece of shit. I know I'm not. So, don't ever let somebody make you feel that way because honestly, like, the ones that are saying those things are the pieces of shit. Yeah. Woo! We're getting fired up. Uh, there was more I was going to talk about, but I can't see. Well, let's talk about some of the good oh, the that good happened stuff. last year. Yeah, of course. Go for it. You first. Okay. Some of the good things my daughter has done so much better in school. Like, her grades have really come up to the level that she is. She's done great with expressing her emotions better. Um, Can you talk more into the mic? Can you shut your pie hole? I'm sorry, but you're facing away from it. Does this make it sound better? (laughs) I have no idea. (laughs) Oh, 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 shit! Okay, so we have some technical difficulties. I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to keep talking. The good stuff. We got to go to New York. We got to go to the beach. We, I got a lot of songs put out with my daughter, which was a wonderful experience. Um, a lot of writing was put in. We are staying in the house that we love. Um, what are some other, like, I mean, just amazing. I got a great job that I love that's part-time. I've got this family that I nanny for that I absolutely adore and love that I met this year. And, like, um, I've got some amazing friends. Like, Hannah, shouting you out, boo. Love you so much. Candace, Ashton, love y'all. Got some new friends that are trying to steal my dog. JC. We're calling you out, man. Yeah, dude. You suck. No. Um, like, literally, I've lost so much this year but gained so much more. If that makes sense. Like, they left so these other people could take their spots. Yeah. And they're more family to me than I feel like they ever were. Exactly. Ooh, that felt good to say. Ooh. I mean, whatever they put in this coffee is making me all, like, vulnerable and shit. Um, more good. I've got two dogs. 
I'm just gonna mess. I'm kidding. I love both my dogs. It's good and bad. Yeah. So there's that. Sean and I are super close now. Yeah. We're like besties, even though I could have birthed him at 20. <laughs> um, I would just like to point out before I moved in and started helping out mm-hmm. after my uncle passed away. Yeah. We barely talked. Yeah. We barely talked. We just would say, like, hey, hi, and yeah. stuff like that. But then afterwards, it just like, hey, what's up? Want to watch TV with me? <laughs> and he introduced me to one of the most amazing shows. Dale, Papito. What's it called? Oh, one day uh, at a time. One day at a time, yes. And honestly, like, you know, Sean moving in here was the biggest blessing because we grew through this pain together. Yeah. And then we became psychos together although she is a little <laughs> mad at me that i introduced to her i introduced to her two shows that got canceled yeah screw you one day at a time and baby daddy can we start one day at a time again tonight yeah we gotta get some cheese puffs <laughs> we got the um cheese puff, puff corn the cheesy puff wait corn. no i'm supposed to be eating no cheese <laughs> it's our official cheese it's true it's not even real but no like he's right we weren't i mean when I had Jack, I was so focused on that relationship that, like, I mean, I had my friends and stuff. And I did, you know, talk to you, like you said. Like, I took you all the pool that time. And, like, I always did pumpkins with you or whatever. But it I was would never like, like this. Yeah, but I would like to point out the pool and the pumpkin thing mm-hmm. happened between 2014. 13, yeah. yeah, 2014 and 2015. Yeah. And then after that, it was like I had Kenzie. Yeah. And my whole world flipped upside down. But even then, in 2014, 2015, yeah. I didn't talk much. Yeah. And I never really talked much. So. You were also going through a lot. Yeah. Trying to find you and figure out, like, who you were. And yeah. what made you, like... Who... Tick. Tick. Yeah, I was going to say that, but then I was like, that sounds weird. Mm. I'm gonna tick. I mean, you got a picture of me stabbing a pumpkin one. Yeah. And, and Dee was doing something weird, too. I was like, oh, God. And your uncle was just like, oh. That's normal. I'm like, okay, whatever. At the time when I was recording the storm on your front porch. Mm-hmm. He's like, what are you doing? I'm just doing a psycho <laughs> type laugh going like. <laughs> it's like a tornado going down the road and he's laughing. Oh my gosh. But it is true. Like last year has brought some amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing stuff. And then for you, like what was some awesome stuff? I know one thing. Precious Phoenix. That's what I call him. I'm sorry, but he's a P squared. He's my P squared. He's Precious Phoenix. He really is. He, he is a doll. Um, other than that, you got, like, to work as an actor. That's what I was going to bring up, the actor, um, the acting stuff. Yes. How fun was, like, Winnie being an actor there? It was pretty fun, except the time when a tooth almost got knocked out. Because <laughs> somebody was so scared of you? No, he was messing around, and he was, like, playing with the puppet I had. Oh. And right when I was about to tell him, hey, please don't do that. And I was, like, pulling it back. He lets go and it knocks me right in the face. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Yeah. I'm sorry. It I was laugh, okay. but that's, I'm mean, glad. It's okay. Hurt. Would you do it again next year? Definitely. That's awesome. I uh, met some pretty awesome people through that. And then the other acting gigs, too. And you wrote some kick-ass shit this year. Name one thing. And the one we're going to sing together. Okay, Melancholy Both Dream and Charred and Smoke. Um, Dapper Guy. Dapper Guy was together. pretty good. Y'all, The Lady in White. The Lady in White. Yes, we gotta cut that one, too. That's um, supposed to be a Halloween-type song. Oops. This year just flew by, I'm telling you. I cannot even believe. I mean, I'm so happy 2024 is around the corner, y'all. I'm so looking forward. Yeah. Here. But there is good, like you said. Focus on the good. But even though we can't really talk about the exact movies and shows yes. we, we were in, we can talk about some stuff that happened. We just can't say who the actors were okay. or yeah. what it was for. Yeah. I smelt the breath of one really big man. He was a really big, well-known person in Atlanta. That's all I can say about that. Yeah. <laughs> but and, and the fact he talked words. directly towards you. Hey, you, girl with the hat. And I was like, oh, my God. Yes. Oh, it was so fun. I, You know, that is something that I'm glad that you and I both are wanting to do again this year. Yeah. Because... We took, I mean, the writer's strike took it down. Yeah. We were so motivated and getting paid decent, like, going to these fun gigs. And, and only had three anxiety attacks. See, that's really good. We met some amazing people. Like, I've got so many friends now. You too. 
from that, like on my Facebook, on my Instagram. I have zero. I thought you, like the guy that was going to do the... the uh, I lost his number oh, and I got a new phone number since then. Poor shit. We'll find him. Yeah, we and will find you. Taylor doesn't, I don't really talk to her and she doesn't really talk to I me. I that so. really pretty girl too. Yeah. Yeah, she's really pretty. Um... Yeah, anyway, that was, that, I feel like that was a lot of the highlight. Oh, and modeling, doing that fashion show, or was that the year before? That was the year before. Okay. Yeah. Well, what else? I still want to talk about the acting and stuff. Do it. That was really fun. Yeah, It was awesome. We got to meet a whole, a whole lot of people. I mean, the only thing I really hated was the one where we were in the severe heat. Yeah, that was hard. And I had to walk back and forth for four hours and it's like half a mile one way half a mile back so that was like one full mile for four hours you were in hell and i had to drag something heavy behind me you were in hell was it a wagon it was a cooler actually you were in absolute hell i could not believe that i'm like what is the problem why is this shot taking so long like anyway i guess we'll find out (gasps) and then the next day that person went to the well, we can't really say, considering uh, they might piece it together who it is. Okay, but by now. I yeah. Say but if I remember correctly, that movie was originally supposed to come out this, coming up yeah. February, but then the whole writer's strike and everything, so it was yeah. delayed, I yeah. believe. So I don't know when it's going to be coming out now. I tried to Google it, but it wouldn't say anything. It just said 2024. I can't wait till we can tell everybody, like, hey, this is the date. We can talk about it. Like, Watch me. Watch me. Watch pick, me. Watch me. Watch me pull up the <laughs> scenes that I'm in uh-huh. and point it out to people. Like, That's like, where I was walking repeatedly. <laughs> there I am. There I am. That's my finger. And there's, there's my hair. Yeah, there's my side profile. I would like to point out, though, in that same movie, on the day we were recording, mm-hmm. uh, one of the main actors... Okay, so there's a rule with it. The background actors can't talk to the main actors and yeah. stuff or take pictures and stuff like that because I mean, they have to keep it under wraps. The only people yes. that can keep, that can take photos is the press that production. has access yeah. to it. And, produ- and people during production to make sure they have the lineup correctly of course. about where everybody's standing. Right. Well, uh, there was a couple of people who just, like, <laughs> took out their phone to check their messages. There were, like, parents who had to keep an eye on their kid, like, just in case something from their school, like their me. kid's school and stuff or something like that. Well, there was this one actor, one of the main <laughs> actors, who would go over to them and be like, hey, you want a picture? I'll take a picture with you. That was awesome. Which is Awesome, because you're not supposed to talk to them. No, you're not. Or ask them for a photo with them while yeah. on set. He was just awesome. And he was he was one that would go up to you and be like, yeah. hey, you want to take a picture? I'll take a picture with you. And I heard some terrible shit about that guy. Oh, God. How he too. would treat, yeah. like, fans and stuff. But he was, like, one of the nicest people there. Him and the two other main cast members besides the kid. Yes. Yeah. And go ahead. One of the main actresses, she was like, "Thank you all for coming. We really couldn't do this without you." Right before we started filming, oh, I remember. And that. when someone asked if they could take a picture with you, she was like, "I'm really sorry. We were not supposed to." And all that stuff. She was trying to be understanding, she was being so and nice. all this other stuff. And the other one, she was super nice too. They were all really nice. I and I worked with. I do like to point something out, and I'll probably point this out if I ever become a like a big name actor yeah. or songwriter or writer or whatever or singer or whatever yeah watch me tweet out to that one actor and be like hey remember me you made sure that twice i didn't get hit in the head with a football i know that was so cool i wanted to get a picture so bad but the line just kept like growing and i was like i'll just wait and yeah. then like we had a, we got called to the other side of the area almost. yeah he almost threw a football to me i would have caught it yeah, I would have caught it, too. If it Probably right it. in the nose. Yeah, right <laughs> in the nose. I am a good throw, not a good catch. Exactly. Unless it's, like, a baseball or something like that. If it's a football, I am terrible. Yeah, I'm not great with sports. The only sport I ever did was softball, and I sucked at it. It was terrible. I did, I mean, dance is a sport. I definitely was a dancer um, for, like, 12, 13 years. That was great. Okay, um, you're not good at sports, but do you have a favorite sport? Like, to watch? Yeah. Um, no. I'll watch football. That's really it. With me, it would have to be baseball, Mm -hmm. hockey, and yes, it counts figure skating. Absolutely. Freaking Lily. That is hard work. Like, yeah, people are... I do like that. 
I didn't even think about that. I love to watch dancers, too. Unless like, we're, rockets unless, or rockets. Yeah. But unless we're talking about extreme sports, then I have to go with snowboarding. That'd be cool. Yeah. Hopefully you get to snowboard when we go to Colorado. Yeah. We're going in end of February. That's the goal. I cannot wait. I am so excited. Dolly, you're not on this episode. We're just going to let our dogs talk in the mic one day. <laughs> just keep talking to y'all because they pretty much do. Um, Can I say something? Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to Puppy Talk with your hosts, Ari and Dolly. <laughs> now, today we have a special guest. He comes right from the backyard. <clears throat> Billy Bowie, also known as Bowie. Hi, Bowie. What back- do you like to do in your free time in the backyard? <laughs> yeah, you know what he said? He said he likes to rake the yard. <laughs> He likes to jump on the trampoline, and he likes to drink water out of the wagon. Yeah, my dog actually does that. He does that. is so funny. He is such a funny dog. Like, he's a cool dog, though. Yeah. By the way, he's, he's a pit bull. so freaking cute. He's black and white with a little white Q-tip tail. Yeah. He's so cute. I'm going to go kiss him. <laughs> I'm going to say, how are your rats? There's They're pretty rats good. here, too. Yeah, I have two pet rats. Their name is Ratatouille. My little cousin <laughs> named them. Uh-huh. And the other one, which I named, is Apollo Fizz, after the Greek god Apollo and Fizzaroli from uh, Hell of a Boss. So, <laughs> yeah. Let us know what kind of pets you have in your neck of the woods. Because we, we like to collect dogs. Cats, I would collect, but I'm allergic to them. And plus, Ari would eat it. Ari does not like cats or chickens. We once played a chicken video on YouTube, and let's just say I almost lost my TV. She was not happy. Um, but yeah, we love our pets. We love traveling. Um, anything else about next year that we're excited about doing? Obviously the podcast. Some more songs. Yeah. Music video. Yes. The Melancholy Dreams one. Is that the one with the tra- like the trampoline idea that you had? Yeah, that's the one with the okay. trampoline idea. Okay. I would just like to point out the trampoline idea. I got from a <laughs> Fallout Boy TikTok. Was it a pickle? That was an idea, but that okay. was had nothing to do with the TikTok. Okay. okay. The TikTok, I can't remember what song it was they were talking about or what they were doing, but Pete Wentz was like on one of those uh trampolines. Yeah. Like the one person trampolines that I'm just like music video idea. <laughs> Considering oh with Melancholy gosh. Dream, it's, like, all sad and stuff like that, but yeah. the chorus hits, and it's just, like, all hippie vibes. Yeah. But I want, like, random stuff to happen. Yeah, and it will. Just have randos walking around. Remember when we were filming the video downtown, and those two guys were like, are you doing a music video? We yeah. were like, yeah, and they were like, can we be in it? We were like, no. But we are going to be hosting an open event for the Dapper Guy. I'm going to be doing... Um, it's kind of like a, what, 40s style vibe? Yeah, 40s, 20s. 20s to 40s. Like, Think speakeasy vibes. Yeah, exactly. So if you're local to chat and you'd be interested in be, or if you want to travel here, we don't, we're not paying. Sadly, we can't. Sorry, not yet. We can't afford to do that at the moment. Your face can be in the music video, which is super exciting. It will be all over the world. Um, I will say you have to be at least nice. 18. Yeah, because it is going to be in a bar. Yeah. Um, but I mean, there won't be any alcohol, but also for legal reasons, it's all going to be 18 and up. And it's probably going to happen either in February. I'm thinking February. We'll have a date for y'all and let you know. Um, so please comment if you are interested. Um, because this episode will be out the end of January. Yeah. So that'll give people some time to decide if they can get here. So maybe we'll shoot for like end of February or early March for the and also, if you're a boy, gal, or non-binary, non-binary. <laughs> non-binary pal or gender fluid or anything, uh, there's another music video we'll probably yes. need some help with, but we only need a one masculine guy and one more feminine type person okay. to help out with it, and that's the Melancholy Dream one. That's going to be awesome. It's like sad romance-ish, but uh-huh. the reason why Jess is, is also, name is also going to be on there is because she's helping out with the chorus. Considering she has the hippie type of voice for it. And also she helped write the lyrics. I think Janis Joplin. Yeah. That's my vibe. I mean. At I, the time when we wrote it. Yeah. 
Yeah. I still wear all my hippie stuff. But right now I'm having to, like, when I go to work, I have to wear, it's funny. I, I would, you have to dress professional in the industry. But, like, if you see me around the house, I'm in pajamas. Or if I go out, I'm in, like, pfft, hippie pants and just a t-shirt. Like, I don't care. I, I don't even wear a bra, really, anymore. You know why? Because my dog runs off with them and hides them from me. My dog is a freak. How scandalous. She's, you know, dog. She's Monroe. I named her correctly. Dolly. Obviously, Dolly Parton, and then Monroe for Marilyn Monroe. So, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not on drugs. I sound stoned. It's just the coffee. It's making me like, woo! I'm telling you, y'all, these coffee bombs are where it's at. They have all kind of flavors. Get some. I do have one question. Okay. If we end up doing a uh, music video for Charred and Smoked, mm-hmm. what type of vibe do you want to go for? <laughs> I'm and, talking like I've got to have the smoke machine. I do have one question to do with that. Okay. I get to follow along with that. Do I have permission to break stuff? Absolutely. Yes. We remember that time to break we, shit. Do you remember that day we broke glasses here and cups and mugs? That yeah, was, we threw it on the sidewalk. Yeah, that was amazing. Yes, but the vibe I feel is is Avril. I feel like not like a heavy metal, but like a there's got to be a smoke machine, like me on a stage. Paramore. There's got to be like a, a bassist. There's got to be it's just got to be like this. Like yeah. Mm, famous last words, Mike from Romance vibes. There's there's okay. fire involved. You'll have to. Yeah, you'll have to show me. Yeah, I want that to be like my breakthrough song where it's like <gasps> middle fingers everywhere without actually doing them. But I'll yeah. do them. Yeah, you your background, do whatever you want. If I remember correctly, part of the idea we had for the uh, actual music portion mm-hmm. is I'll be singing the lyrics as well, mm-hmm. but we'll be playing them backwards. That's so. That's like such a Beatles thing. Beatles would. Do you know they did a whole song in reverse? Yeah, I believe so. Well, you know what? We're pumped about 2024, and 2023 can suck it, except for the good parts. Um, the good parts were, you know coming into our own and, and being more of who we are authentically. And I will say that you will lose people when you become your true self and show the world that you just don't care anymore. And that's okay. Because those aren't your people, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, they can stay in 2023. For all I care. Um. So, moving forward, guys. What were our cards? Let's wrap it up at the beginning, going backwards, just like the Beatles. We are going to stop sleeping on our gifts. We are going to see the truth when we look in the mirror and show that same person to the world and not be afraid of it. And for our TikTok, <laughs> spirit. Wait, our TikTok? You mean our I podcast? I mean, oh my God. I need sleep. Is it no, you don't. Sleep? Yes, I do. No. For our. What You're not this allowed. Called? I almost said TikTok again. For our podcast, spirit's magic is popping your cherry. So that <laughs> just confirms we're doing the right thing. We're popping our podcast cherry. So <laughs> how should we wrap? And that's a wrap. How should we do that tonight? Um, honestly, I feel like we should talk a little bit more before we even wrap up. Okay. I don't know what about, but we'll come up with a subject and I'll I'll follow you. Ooh. I I was junky. <laughs> Look, it's all the like pieces of hazelnut. Uh, it's so good though. I just wasn't expecting it. I feel like we could we should continue talking a little bit more about the music videos. Okay. I feel like that would be a nice-ish idea. Anybody want to be a part, please let us know. Yes. Also, one of my songs next year, I'm going to give you all a brief little (laughs) line from it. This is a country song. Oh, yes, yes, I love this one. It is going to be, um, (laughs) next year is going to be a little chaotic. It's going to be like I'm I'm Avril and then I'm Taylor mixed with Jess. and It's just going to be interesting. But I wrote this song with a very good friend of mine two years ago, um, and I'm finally going to release it this year, and I'm really, really, really fucking excited. So here's a little preview about it. It's about, it's called That Guy, and it's talking about constantly finding and being attracted to the wrong men, the baby men that you feel like you have to... They're not men, they're boys. They're boys. (laughs) The ones you feel like you have to change or take under your wing and protect and whatever. But I can change him. Yeah, bullshit. They're never going to change. So, <laughs> we laughed so hard writing this song. Um, you need to help me write a song like that. It was fun. It was me and Allie. Her name's Allie. I'll just leave it at that. I won't release her whole name without consent. 
but it's called that guy and we wrote it within like two hours this was actually when my husband was living and he thought it was just brilliant so basically when you're with the wrong guy and they have to they feel like they have to show off or, you know, they're bad people and they're trying to make up for it. So the line goes a little something like this. I forgot. Small, I meant big trucks. Yes, right. Big trucks, little insurance. You do the math. <laughs> I completely forgot the line. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. Big trucks, little insurance. It doesn't even go like that. But, y'all, we laughed so hard when she came out with, I said big trucks, and then she goes, what can we say that would be about big trucks who the guys are showing off? And I was like, well, you know, they have tiny weenies. And she goes, oh. Again, you can, you can cuss it in this. Dicks. <laughs> I said weenies. <laughs> Little insurance. And we laughed for probably 10 minutes. We could not focus after that. I was like, oh, my God, this is it. That is it. And she's like, yes. So we're going to have some merch that say Big Trucks Little Insurance. So if you're a girl who's ever dated one of those, or a guy who's ever dated one of those. <laughs> anyway, that song's going to be called That Guy. I don't know exactly when the release date will be, but it will be next year. Wait, 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 wait. I had an idea, but I lost it. It was like a gender-bent version of that. It could be Ooh. something like Big Hair. I forgot. Man, big hair. Don't care. Actually, if we're talking about Mean Girls, it'd be like, big hair, too many secrets. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. Yeah. So that's one of the songs I'm super stoked about, like, putting out. I'm gonna pull up my list. You talk for a second. I'm gonna, um, pull up my list of, like, music of songs that are coming out next year. Hi. <laughs> so, for, uh, my... Songs? I yes. only have two, really? I got the lyrics down, at least. I got the lyrics. And one we already mentioned to, on this mm -hmm. episode called Melancholy Dream. I wrote that earlier this year, like way back, with Jess's help. And I had so many ideas, and it's just, it's good. I don't fully love the lyrics, but the only lyrics that truly, truly, truly matter is the chorus and like one other line i'm excited for that one and i would like to point out that i started writing it when i was high <laughs> not on purpose yeah it was an accidental an accidental high we did a drive by hying drive by hying if you know anything about chattanooga you know brainerd road uh -huh. that's all i gotta say okay so um i've got that song I'm going to go with the country songs that I'm releasing. One is about my grandmother, um, which is going to be in April. Her birthday's in April, so I wanted to, like, base it around her birthday. Um, and then we've got uh, another country song that Jack wrote, actually. It's called Willie Whalen and Jones. Um, it's really good. And I'm going to put that out because he wanted me to put it out when he was living, and we just never got a chance to. Um, the next one will be that guy. <laughs> we just talked about um another country one is you're sorry i'm not remember that one i believe so that's the one that um the guy did the guitar from oh yeah, yeah that one yeah um so that's four so there's gonna oh and then i'm gonna do a cover of another country song y'all give me some guesses what you think it might be do you have any idea i haven't told you it's a country song that i've wanted to cover for so long do i know the name of the artist yeah. It's a very popular older country song. So that means it could either be Dolly or Reba. Could be that. Yeah, it could be old. old. Or even older than them. Mm -hmm. No offense to them. No. I'm just saying when I hear classic country and stuff like that, it's those ones or... Uh, man, I can't remember her name, but the first name is Loretta. Loretta Lynn. Yeah. yeah. Loretta Lynn. That era. So y'all give us some guesses. I'll... Uh, whoever wins, what should we do for them? I don't, I guess a shout out to them. Yeah, we'll do something fun. But I would also like to point out that nowadays, also when you say, oh, older country artists, they think you're talking about 80s through That's early true. 2000s. Let me see when this was originally out. So that'll maybe help y'all. Anytime I hear someone say old country as in early 2000s, I just give them a look like, you're crazy, right? Right, exactly. 
Um, when was this out? Give me a minute. I'm sorry. You can keep chatting if you want. Hi, back to me. Oh, oh the oh mic God, is falling there off goes again. The mic. <laughs> I fixed it. So, <laughs> Jess, I do have a question. Okay. For the other song, "Thinking of You," that I'm right that I wrote today. Yes. Do you think there would be a good music video for that, or would it just be like a lyric video? You could do both. Um, would it be in a sappy? Love song. There's Sappy, sad love music. song. Uh -huh. Music video opportunity. Music video opportunities by that. Okay, it was 1966 for the song. 1966? Oh. Older. Sorry, people. I'm not trying to say you're old. If it's 1966, I have no idea. Okay. Is it, a female, is it a female singer or a male? Female. female. And it's very, Google. like... It's a badass female. Googling... Song. So there's your there's your tips, but yes, as far as your song, I think you could do both. I think music video, lyric video, we could make some sappy shit. Trust me. Patsy Cline. Even if you get it, I'm still gonna say no because I want them to have a chance to guess too. I'll tell you off off air. <laughs> now he's really gonna like. Hold up! Since when is Olivia Newton John country? She's definitely not country. Uh, yeah, I'm Googling it, and said the last two is Olivia Newton, John, and Cher. Uh, Cher is my country. Definitely not. Okay, so, and it's then. It's to fall off the table oh, again. Shit. The other songs that I'm going to be putting out that are not going to be country is going to be the other, uh, the other uh, side of the coin, if you will. It's going to be called Virgo Vibin', um, Find My Way. I am going to be releasing a song that Jack wrote also. I just don't know when. That's going to be just a single. Um, but it's called Forever. Uh, you remember that one? There's an, a, a song called Legacy that I'm going to be releasing. Uh, Walk the Tight Rope. I have so many songs coming out. Melancholy Dream. Our song! Uh, Moonchild. Oh, Moonchild's done. Um, there's going to be one called Beautiful Disaster, and that's going to be my first heavy metal song ever. Heavy metal. Remember? Yeah. You heard me right in this one. It was great. Uh, there's going to be a song called Glowing Up, which is more like uh, Avril. Wait, there's another song that you and I was, like, writing and you liked. Oh, I'm sure of it. Y'all, we're all about some self-expression. <laughs> you know, like... Uh, there's Stardust, you mentioned. Yes, Stardust. I don't even remember. Oh, wait. That. Yeah, it was both of us. And you said Stardust could be a good name for it. Yeah. But some of the lyrics was, like... Um, don't give it all away. Just a few. Just... Man, I'm trying to think of it. I'll just say the last two lines I'll roll for it, because okay. it's not finished either. Oh, yeah, no. Kiss your finger and let the birds fly as high. Be your own artist, not another starry night. <laughs> yes! You guys can see through the lines there, if you will. Um, but yeah, everything else on my list. Oh, there is a song that I want to write called Runaway, but I think I'm going to possibly name that my book that, and then have a song based around the next book. Because it's about domestic violence. Um, I know some of these episodes are going to be based around certain topics. Um, and I want us to, like, if we can, come up with a list of things we want people to come on and be guests for. Like, if they want to tell their stories or something. Because, I mean, it's not always fun and games in life, and we know that. Um, and we want people to get deep and talk about, like, any traumas or whatever they've been through that maybe could help some other people. What do you think? Huh? What? Sorry. Just like with music. It can help people with their traumas. Exactly. And I'm, no, what I said was like, get guests on that may want to tell that part I heard, yeah. Okay. So maybe we can come up with like an outline and, you know, put it out there and say, hey, if you're interested in being a guest for this topic, sign up here or whatever. But these are things we're brainstorming. Um, we have so much we want to talk about. Also, I would like to explain I was paying attention, but actually one of my friends was actually mentioning some trauma they did went through. Oh, it's, it's every day. At a mental hospital. Oh, gosh, that's terrible. Well, I am so thankful for this podcast and this journey of life that I'm on now. It's not exactly what I signed up for when I married my husband. I never thought that I would be a young widow without him, but I will say his family is now my family, and we've all, like, come together and helped raise Mackenzie um, from the time she was six. And we've been through two birthdays without him and two Christmases without him. And it's just been wonderful to have them here. And um, so, like you said, there's good and bad. But the good stay. 
the ones that truly love you and know you stay. The ones that believe lies or are the roof or are the drama. Let them go. That's what I have to say about that. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, are, is your cup empty? Yeah, it's mine empty. is too. So we should do a final like cheers off maybe. I don't know. In a bit. tinkle <laughs> either way she was trying to whisper but you probably heard that last bit i was like i gotta go to the bathroom uh before we sign off yeah man it, it was in my head it was in my head i forgot it already <laughs> i remember it's okay always <laughs> like burp, burp. you know what actually yeah that's probably it if you think of it, we'll talk about it on the next one. For yeah. Sure. All right. Just watch. I'm going to remember right after we're done. We're going to do a final clink. Cheers to this podcast and to 2024. And fuck you people in 2023. You're not coming with us. <laughs> we have no liquid left, but we do not. All right. Thanks again for tuning in on our second episode of A Little Bit of This, A Little Bit of That. Again, I'm Sean. And I'm Jess. Have an excellent day, night, evening. Happy New Year. <coughs> I'm good. <laughs>